Hi, I'm Librarian Jackie, and today I'm standing outside of our Felton branch. I've got my nature journal and pencils, and I'm ready to explore the Nature Discovery Park with you today. Come along with me! Here we are at the Nature Discovery Park. Let's take a look! Come with me! Felton's Nature Discovery Park is right next to our beautiful library. If you haven't had a chance, come out here and explore. Look, there's a lizard! You see it? Hi, lizard. There they go. Next time you're in the parks or even in your own backyard, take a look around you. You might see something surprising, like my lizard. We're going to cross the bridge. There's also a lovely path over there. Let's go. Pause for a moment and take in your surroundings. Today is a beautiful day. Follow me. Notice the flowers you see along the way. This is yarrow. See the feathery leaves? Come this way. Look over here. It looks like some sort of bramble. It reminds me of a blackberry. See the pink flowers and serrated leaves? And the berries are already forming. It's full of bees. Be careful. I'm gonna find another spot to journal. Come on, remember to keep on the paths when you're in the parks and don't pick anything. A photograph works well too if you want to study um, something for later or identify it. Take a moment to listen and to look all around you. Connect with nature. We are going to write or draw our observations. Ask yourself, what's the weather like? What do you hear? What do you smell? Let's walk around here and find a good spot. Here we have some beautiful public art in Nature Discovery Park. There's even a sundial. Here's a pretty path. I see willow trees and shadows. I'm going to look around and find what I want to draw. I haven't found it yet. Oh, let's try over there. Look, a butterfly. Nature is all around us. More beautiful artwork. I want to show you something I found. Now I'm not going to pick any leaves off of trees and plants I see, but there are a few fallen leaves on the ground. You might normally pass these by. It's summer and a lot of leaves on the ground are dry and brown. Or are they? Look at these oak leaves. They aren't just brown. I have a green one here, and this one is a deep color. I see shades of orange and gray. The edges are pointy, and one of the leaves has spots. Also notice the veins. Are they raised? Look at these grasses. Look how they stir in the breeze. Are those brown parts flowers? Hey! I think I found a spot I like. Come around here, let's have a look. Look at this. I think that's what I want to draw. I see some yarrow here with its feathery leaves and compound flowers and some California poppy. Notice some of it is already seeding. There are seed pods. I don't know if you can see them.
All right, now, when you get ready to sit down and use your nature journal, make sure that you're not going to sit on anything delicate or harmful. Make sure it's not too hot and make sure there's no poison oak. Remember, leaves are free, let be. I'm gonna sit. And I'm not gonna pick anything. I'm just here to observe. I'm going to use my nature journal and my pencils. But you can use any art supplies you'd like. I'm going to observe what I see. Look at these. I like to start off with the date and time. Let's write that down. It's about 3.45 p.m. Yeah. I'm going to sketch a poppy. A good tip for drawing is to take a look at the outline of the object you want to draw and start there. If you have a leaf you found, you can also try tracing it. In the first video in this series, Melinda Nakagawa of Spark in Nature tells us more about the techniques we can use. I highly recommend having a look. Now, I'm going to look at the pistils and stamens inside the flower, and I'm just going to draw what I see. Are the petals smooth edged or notched? How many petals does it have? Start with the prompt, I notice. You can even write that on your journal page. Tell us what you notice. I'm going to draw the seed pod too. There it is. Notice that it's long and it's bumpy and has a stripy sort of bumpy texture. Here it is. You don't have to be an artist to keep a nature journal, you know? Now, I'm gonna look at my colors. I see orange in the inner part of the flower and the outer part is more yellow and the stamens are kind of yellow so I'm going to start there. See? I'll add the orange and the yellow. So I'm going to start there. Um, I don't know if you can see, it kind of comes to a point. And I'm going to blend them together so it looks kind of like this to me. It's just going to get the idea of the poppy. Some orange in there. You can color it in. You can trace. See the inside there? I'm going to look at the colors that I see. Do you see the veins? I see veins when I look at the petals. They look like stripes to me. I'm going to show that by making some lines. Those are the veins of the flower petal. Of course, they're not orange all the way through, so I use my yellow pencil. It's just a suggestion of veins. It's not perfect, but it's my poppy. You can erase if you want to later. I might outline mine in black ink. See those veins? Take a look in there. See what you observe in nature. I'm getting those veins in. we go. It's starting to look more like my poppy. There we go. I'm 
Now, do I see leaves down there? There are tiny feathery leaves. The leaves I see, it's almost like a tiny feather, like that. And I notice that they're green, but they are a silver green. And I wonder what would happen if I added a little bit of black to make it look a little bit more gray. There's my leaf. I've got my green there. It's a very bright green. I'm trying to um, use it softly. And I'm adding a little bit of black there to kind of gray it out, make it more like the silvery color I see. There we go. And interestingly, I see a little bit of red in there as well just a little bit on the tips. There's a bit of a blush. Look at that. I'll show you a close-up later. And we're gonna get the seed pod here, which also has the grayish green. Whoops, I went outside of the lines right there. <laughs> That's okay. And there's a little brown there. I'm gonna grab my brown pencil and add a little bit of brown there. There we go. And this is my seed pod. I'm going to write California poppy because I know that this is California poppy. All right, and yarrow here, if you look closely, each, each part is a little flower. It's got a center part and it's got five lobed petals. See one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And they look kinda like this. I'm gonna do a little detail drawing. One of those little individual flowers in that compound flower head looks like that. And my hand's in the way, so it's hard to show you. But here's what I got. And now I'm going to do the outline of the whole flower head. I'm going to start with that outline. Um, you could call this an umbel. It's a big compound flower head. Looks a bit like that. And I see little hairs on the stems. They've got these hairy stems. Why is that, I wonder? Is it for defense? Does it keep insects away? You can use the journal prompt, I wonder, if you have questions like that. I'll draw those hairs. There we go. And they also have feathery leaves, even more feather-like than the poppy leaf. I'm just going to get the basic shape of these and I'm going to fill it in. And then I'll fill in these flower heads. Hey, it's getting sunny. I'm going to put my hat on. Remember to protect yourself in the sun. Bring a hat and wear sunscreen. Here's what I have so far. It's getting hot out here. I'm going to head out and finish this at home. It's warm. Did you know that you can request a Get Out and Explore kit? These kits focus either on the mountain or beach parks, and each comes with a California State Park day pass, nature guides, a map, and equipment to help you enjoy the natural world and have adventures. Request one today. You must be 18 or older and have a free library card to borrow one. I hope that you feel empowered to get out into nature and explore our parks, neighborhoods, and even our own backyards. Remember to look all around you, and you will find the beauty in nature. And remember to go to www.santacruzpl.org for more wonderful programs, books, and resources. Happy nature journaling!
like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful